The vast majority of the world's freight is shipped in containers. In order to reduce the spread of pests and diseases, up to 5% of these shipments will undergo some form of quarantine inspection or treatment. In particular, the presence of wood packing, including timber pallets, often necessitates fumigation using toxic gases. There are a number of gases used, including phosphine and sulphur or fluoride, but by far the most effective and commonly used gas preferred by quarantine authorities is methyl bromide. Methyl bromide is a chemical used as a, it's a gas, and it's used to kill insects as a fumigant. It's also used to kill a number of other pests in agriculture and in trade. However, the use of methyl bromide is being increasingly called into question. Well, there's a basic problem with fumigants in general, that uh, they are toxic gases. So there are safety issues, uh, there are residue issues, uh, there are the general issues of handling highly volatile, very toxic gases. But methyl bromide has a particular additional problem, and that is that it gets up into the ozone layer and it's a potent ozone depleter. Since fumigant gases are commonly released into the atmosphere after being used, there is justifiable concern about their continued unfettered use. My, my reading of the health issue is that methyl bromide, if it affects people, sometimes the effects stay, that is, they're, they're chronic effects. There are a number of other fumigants where uh, if you get truly intoxicated by these fumigants and you recover, you recover fully. The literature on methyl bromide seems to say that it, you can be partially, partially poisoned by methyl bromide and recovery is slow and maybe not happen. Air plume modelling has shown that gas disperses over a wide area and is particularly influenced by local weather conditions. This diagram shows methyl bromide dispersion at a major port. There are, however, a number of methods to recapture and safely dispose of methyl bromide and other fumigant gases. Recapture systems are in use commercially at airports, fresh produce markets and ports, and the technology has moved on from development to implementation. There's a number of different systems around that are either commercially available or under development that look at recapture and destruction. And the efficiencies of these processes, once you get the methyl bromide into the destruction system, can be quite high. The real question is how best to get the methyl bromide that you put into the enclosure, the fumigation enclosure, into the destruction system. Using the Nordico system, after a cargo shipment has been fumigated, the fumigant gases are extracted using a centrifugal fan and passed through an activated carbon filter. The concentration of the fumigant gas is monitored until it has reached a safe level. When fully saturated after multiple fumigations, the activated carbon can be treated and reused or properly disposed of, resulting in destruction of the gas. Nordico is one of a number of recapture and destruction systems on the market today. Nordico has developed and patented its equipment to suit a variety of applications. This lightweight, easily portable clip-on system is designed for on-site fumigation within containers. A lightweight door is attached in place of the existing container door and ducting is used to connect the fan and the scrubber unit. The fumigator injects the gas into the container and the fan is used to circulate the gas within the container for the required period of time. At the conclusion of the fumigation, 
the gas is directed through the scrubber unit until it has been recaptured. Fumigation chambers are designed for break bulk and bulk commodities and LCL cargo. For example, ISPM 15 timber products or even fresh produce can be consolidated and fumigated in the chamber with an integrated recapture system. Tarpaulin fumigation is one of the most widely used methods for both LCL and FCL fumigations. Under tarpaulin recapture and destruction systems can work with existing approved fumigation methods and equipment and are well suited to treating large goods with unusual shapes. Gas can be recaptured from these fumigations as well. Large-scale systems can be implemented for specific applications. In this example, the fumigation and recapture system has been customised for shipments of rice and recovers gas volumes of 5 to 700 cubic metres. Ventilation recapture systems are used to extract and filter residual gases in shipping containers to ensure a safe working environment within the container. The Montreal Protocol seeks to phase out the use of methyl bromide. The Montreal Protocol is the, uh, the international treaty that uh, is there to actually help protect the ozone layer. The Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. And it is a multinational treaty, it's signed by all but four countries in the whole the world, in the UN, and it is uh, a very successful international treaty. Uh, the protocol actually decided to control methyl bromide in 1992, uh, and by 2005 it was meant to be totally phased out in developed countries with some special exceptions, and those exceptions are for feedstock uses, for quarantine and pre-shipment uses and those particular uses that the parties to the Montreal Protocol deem to be critical. The chlorine loading in the upper atmosphere is now falling and the reason why this is falling is because of the adoption of a number of the controls under the Montreal Protocol. That's not just the chlorine loading, it's the bromine loading as well. And that sets the scene for mending of the ozone layer, mending of the total uh, protective shield that we've got. And it's wonderful to see, it's exciting times. The harmful effects of methyl bromide and other fumigant gases are undisputed, and as long as quarantine requirements necessitate their use, it is essential that we apply strategies for responsible handling and disposal. From July 1st, 2007, the Government of Belgium is enforcing laws that make the recapture of methyl bromide compulsory. There are more than 30 systems being installed throughout Belgium to meet this requirement. Recapture is one of a number of strategies that should be considered and is clearly becoming technically and economically feasible. Music